I remember you getting the the first being the the first guy on the East Coast to get a pro skate and everything like that, and you being a street skater on top of that was like what was that finding out getting your first skate? Because I don't know that that mattered that like, being from the East Coast and getting a pro skate being the first one like. Yeah, I mean, look, going back to like I was saying, if I could have done it again, like there were things that didn't pan out the way I would have hoped they would have. Like, obviously, that was exciting to do that, but then I had my issues with USD. The skate never really came out the way I wanted it to come out. I was mm-hmm. sort of. Well, how did you want it? Well, they could. The Pantone color didn't work as far as like the color of the skate that I wanted, and. Hmm. I actually wanted the original boot that had the sort of the thinner liner, but okay. at the time they were doing the bigger ones with yeah, the yeah. puffy tongues. Yeah, and like yeah. I didn't want all that shit. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> then like, I guess this is sort of the part where business, the business end of things, sort of started to interfere with like, if you want to talk about like my artistic integrity of, yeah, yeah. of like, you know, I think. I, I sort of used I used Senate frames which I've never fucking used a Senate frame in my life yeah. you know I thought they were terrible yeah. but it made sense from a business standpoint you know mm. I was a pro rider for these companies mm. to combine the yeah. two things in the skate and, and this is like pre-UFS too so it was like really hard to put those frames on I don't like I said bro I, I never even I had never yeah. put a, a pair of those oh, frames on my skate oh, no, no, so no. we used to ride 50-50 yeah yeah that yeah, was the big yeah. thing you know and you know I I I was more true to that original throne with the thinner eyelet, mm-hmm. um, you know, without all that puffy tongue shit, whatever mm-hmm. that was, mm-hmm. which was a whole weird. What about the tumor? The tumor was the same. That was the tumor, on there the too, tumor changed see, in that era, also. Yeah, and that was the, the big tumor, fat the chunk. Tumor. Yeah, the tumor. Yeah, yeah, the big, <laughs> yeah they, they put the big one. puffy one. Yeah, the big chunky ones out. And I didn't like that either. I think at the time, you know, I was skating. So if you look at the skates that I was riding in that Paris competition, they were the original white Arlo Thrones, and I had the white 50-50 juice system on there, which was the best. That mm-hmm. used to be the best back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just slid perfect on everything. Yeah. And, you know, 50-50 frames. They're so good back in the day, yeah. For some reason, though, 50-50 just, just never gave me any love. No? <laughs> I don't know. Were you on 50-50? No. Nah, that's what oh, I'm saying. I, never I bet really you rode the frames yeah. anyway. Yeah, I used to ride them all the time. And I'll tell you a funny one. When I was, I stayed at John Julio's house. We were all, we drove up from SoCal in, like, Petty's truck, a bunch of us. It was for that one hoax. What hoax was that? Five? Maybe hooks. Like five. There was a Philly eight, section eight, in Hawaii. No, no, no. I, we're skating in Northern California. Oh, okay. So I don't remember Maybe which one. Seven, nine, or six. Something like that. I lost track after five. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> but, but you were in five. Yeah, five had an actual Philly section. Yeah, five. You was, were in it. Shooter was in it. Lux yeah, was in yeah, it. Yeah. So maybe it was like one after that or something. I think it was VG. Was it a VG? Yeah, you're right. VG10? You're right. Metro. VG10. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you had a NorCal Because Dave was there. Actually, yeah, you did have NorCal Dave was there trick. filming it. Yeah. Uh, or Dave was up there with us, I think. Uh, but the funny part is, is, I had a pair of navy blue Majestics. This is when nobody was skating Majestics anymore. Yeah. And I, I said, and Huey was like, dude, what are you doing with Majestics? Like, I think he was skating like Cyruses or something yeah. at the time. Yeah. And I could, I would never, I don't think I've ever skated a pair of Cyrus. I never liked those big, bulky yeah. skates. I could just never skate them. But it's too funny because, uh, you know, and these guys will all laugh about it now because now they all skate Majestics. And that's <laughs> yeah, the whole thing because yeah. John was like, what are you doing skating Majestics? I'm like, dude, these are the best skates ever. Uh-huh. And he was like, no way, dude, they're terrible. And then I guess what, how many years later they just took Came that back. same mold yeah. and John too out of all people yeah. Is the one who like, yeah I think I break his balls about that once in a while <laughs> I'm like yeah I deserve some credit but you were on USC and just decided to ride the Majestics I think I had like a like a side pair that I put together or something that's so random too because that was such a at that time also Majestics were such like a old school uh, they were like, like it was prehistoric. yeah it was like yeah. dinosaur back then yeah absolutely and that was the funny part yeah <laughs> john was like what the fuck are you doing with those but I, I it was like the ideal setup for me it was the navy blue majestic with the white 50 50 bl- uh plates damn that's sick navy like, blue I think, I think i had like tan frames on them too dang tan frames the, the navy Jeez. blue though is wait so you're riding those in vg10 in the video no i uh, think I'll, i have I'll, usds gotta, gotta look on. Back at them i think see, i have like, usds on in the video or I, I don't know. Maybe I even have. Uh, I don't even know if I was on USD yet. 
I don't know. Oh, that was before that. I feel like I might have had um, Fifth Elements on. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I can't. <laughs> it's a blur when you get down to that stuff. Yeah. Well, there's some. Pull up the video. Yeah, Colin, video Colin, Colin would know. Is Colin's probably doing. Yeah, Colin's probably pulling up the video right now. <laughs> but um, hey, I got a I got a personal uh, interest question. There's an old video back in the day where you're trying to sneak into a skate park dressed as someone else because I guess you've been banned from the park. Mm. Why were you Why were you banned from the park? And like, what was the whole story behind all that? So that's funny because going back to uh, skating park. There was this one park we used to we used to frequent, but the reason I got banned from the park is is, is hilarious, is because I literally did every like every trick I did was like against the rules. Like I like what? I like one eighty like outside of the park. Oh my god! Or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I went like you know off a of, uh, a quarter pipe or something over a railing through a garage outside, yeah. and they were like, you can't do that. Because now you're outside and like you're not covered, like with our insurance. Mm -hmm. So it was just like everything I did in this place, I got in trouble for. Damn, <laughs> that was just the one trick I remember like specifically. And the the owner was a he was a that dude was a dick. <laughs> and uh, I never heard anyone doing tricks against the rules. <laughs> no, it, was, it was funny. Like I mean, even we at the time were like, "What are you kidding me?" Yeah. Like the thing about a skate park, there's like there's no rules in our fucking sport. That's why we do this shit. Mm -hmm. Not like don't fucking open up a place and set up rules to do. Right. Just tell us where we can skate, Especially what we can grind a, on. Like a, what the fuck at a skate park? Yeah, at a skate places. park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well, yeah, retarded. I, event, I guess we were filming that section, and I don't even remember what led us to do it. But I was like, I had this funny wig or something. <laughs> yeah. my, my, like my mom had this funny wig and. I was like, I'll just go in wearing a disguise. <laughs> and that was in a video? I, I don't like, remember that. Yeah, I don't even remember what video it was in. Did it work? It worked for like a little bit. <laughs> and then like somebody like ratted me out. They were like, that's a good. And then I got into like a big argument with the owners. Yeah. And it, it, the whole thing's like pure comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, I don't remember that. But it was elements like stupid. It was oh, like, elements too. It was like it was <laughs> really like young. <laughs> yeah, punk well, you shit. were young, man. Yeah, it was like it's, super it's young, young punk, punk shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I mean, but yeah, was, I didn't mean to throw, bring that up and throw you under the bus for that. But it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it was a thing I was actually curious about. It was funny. Yeah, that <laughs> it's is definitely funny. still funny if you watch yeah. that because like the dude's like his wife. Nah, he's bitching, the, yeah, they're like, both. I gotta rewatch that again. I've seen that forever. He's like yelling at me because I'm cursing, but then he's cursing at me. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, what do you what do you mean? You yeah, just, you're cursing yeah, at me. Like, yeah. 